What's up guys, we're gonna roll beats. Today we're gonna be talking about time management. If you guys haven't subscribed already to Terms of do so, go to the top of the light. Let's hop right into it. We're just gonna talk about time management and some things you can do to manage your time as a producer, whether you're unemployed, self-employed, uh, you know, got a nine to five, etc. All right, so let's go ahead and hop into it. Okay, so what I wanna do is just show you kind of what I do personally. Um, so with all these like categories, music, you know, beats, stuff like that, videos, recording, um, you know, business, socials, emails, uh, you got working out, um, entertainment. So if you, I don't know if you want to play a game or you just want to watch Netflix or whatever you do, um, and then learning. So what I do with these categories, because you can get out of hand with all of these, you can make a beat. It can take three hours. What I actually do is I use an alarm clock. Now, every computer, Mac, whatever you have, windows should have one. So all the productive things, so learning, um, working, well, working out is a little different, right? Cause when you work out, uh, you shower afterwards, etc. but you know, uh, responding to emails and stuff like that, um, uploading, um, and making beats, melodies, I give it an hour. And once the timer hits zero, I'm done. I don't care where I'm at. I don't care if I'm learning guitar and I'm at a part I like, I don't care. I stop because that helps me stay consistent. So I don't have kind of uh, that brain rot or I feel burned out. Um, and then for entertainment stuff, usually, usually about 30 minutes, um, just for like, just random stuff, scrolling through Twitter, whatever. Um, so that's kind of what I do. And you can kind of implement that if you want to, I do recommend it, especially if you're somebody where you feel like you got too much stuff to do. Um, but yeah, that's what I do. So now I'm gonna just talk about the other stuff real quick. Okay. So now I just want to show the comparison and just have this on screen so you can see the numbers and see the things that you would need to do every day, right? Um, or not every day, you don't have to, but if you really wanna grind every day. Uh, so if you are self-employed or not employed, you have about on average, probably about five to 12 hours a day, okay? To do all of these things. Um, and then if you are employed or in school, et cetera, on average, three to five hours. Five hours if you probably, if you don't work out or you, you don't have a family, but probably about three to five. Um, so it's up to you right now to kind of decide what's more important um, every day, okay? And in the next part, I'll talk about how you can fit this stuff in throughout the week and stuff like that and what I found works, but pretty much all these, you'll be good to go. Marketing doesn't really take that long, like emailing, replying to people. Um, that's why I would use a 30 minute timer you know, YouTube learning courses, whatever you do to learn. Um, I give about an hour entertainment stuff. Like I said, short timer, I um, in life, you can't put a timer on that. So that's where it gets tricky. Um, but you should be able to fit at least an hour or two of something. Right. Um, so you got to decide what's important to you, um, and what your goals are. So let's go ahead and move on to the next part. All right. So now I just want to talk about like cycles you can use. Um, so the most common one would be a seven day cycle. So six days out of the week, you would just focus on creative stuff, the fun stuff. And then like on a Sunday, the seventh day, you would upload and do all the business stuff, right? Um, now, personally, I don't like this because I've noticed that when I've done this, uh, I became lazy because I'm not doing anything for six days. And then that kind of spills over to the seventh day. Well, I'll, I'll start to hate uploading and doing like the art and all that extra stuff, the business and replying to people because it'll pile up. Um, so if you can take that, do it with me, I just don't like that. Um, so there you go. So the three day cycle, this is probably the easiest. So if you are a new producer, I recommend the three day cycle. One day you do music to get all that out the way. And then next day you upload, you put your thumbnails or whatever platform you're using. And then the next day you focus on marketing and obviously you have extra time. You could kind of overlap, but I think this is the easiest on the mind and this, and people underestimate that how important that the mind part is, because if you're not feeling it or you're burnt out, none of this is getting done as simple as that. Now the two day cycle, pretty self-explanatory. One day you do music, right? You kind of get it all together, mix it, etc. And then the next day you do the business side where you're uploading it, you're putting the tags, you're getting the art ready. Um, it's pretty stress-free. Um, obviously not as stress-free as three day because you're splitting it up into three days, but it works. Um, 
yeah so the one day the most stressful now if you really want to grind uh, you could do this now one thing on the seven day cycle is when you upload your beats you will be scheduling them out throughout the week so every day you will be uploading so just keep that in mind um, but yeah those are the cycles you can use and you can kind of do whatever you want i'm just giving you the things that most people um use right so uh, let's go ahead and move on to the last part okay so now we're going to talk about balancing type beats and just the music that you make so um if you do not care like if you like look i don't care i make what i want then just do what you want to do make what you want to make if you want to make dark beats with the same 808 same snare same mix go ahead it's up to you but you will have to stress the truth a bit about the type artist so this is where you see a lot of those titles that's like i don't know Lil uzi Lil baby with like artists that don't even work with each other etc which is fine there's nothing wrong with that but you will have to do that to kind of get a little boost okay now if you care not actually but you will be selling your soul to the algorithm okay you need to go go on google trends you need to be looking up you know the popular producers what they're uploading and looking up the newest artist that's upcoming go on spotify what's the most upcoming artist etc go everywhere and, and just be super analytical about it um and really be about it okay and whatever is the hottest thing that's what you making it doesn't matter if you want to make lo-fi beats if hyper pop beats are in that's what you making okay so that's the person you're going to be if you care um and then down here either way um you just gotta look up what's fresh and upcoming if you want to grow now if you want it easy just copy the big producers copy what they're doing look at their descriptions and kind of obviously you don't want to copy it exactly but you want to kind of learn from them right um and follow those trends early and stuff like that but that's gonna be it for this video um that's just kind of a time management thing that you can kind of take and mold to your life um because my life is not the same as yours and it, either either the person watching is everyone's life is different people have kids some people don't have kids some people got jobs some people don't got jobs uh, so you got to kind of figure that stuff out for yourself but that's it for this video hopefully you enjoyed make sure you like and subscribe if you're new and i'll see you in the next one peace